I'm Peter and Stewie and Chris. Live in call, baby, the power of speech. No one can hear him, but when he's a... This is Family Guy. The dog talks, too. Good morning, family. I'll have my regular breakfast and the newspaper, please. And weird serrated spoon. And raisin bran? <sighs> now I'll never get to see sha -na, na Mom, Dad, Chris is gone. He went to Woodstock. Now, Meg, nobody likes a snitch. Mr. Brady? You know, Meg, when you tattle on someone, you're not just telling on them, you're telling on yourself. Is that the tale you want to tell? I never thought of it that way. Thanks, Mr. Brady. That's right. Mike Brady, three towns over, who was accused of all sorts of nonsense and left in a hurry. It's got nothing to do with me. Honey, I'm taking the compact. Save a little on gas. Cars are bigger back now. Oh no, my dad! Chris! You'll be here in 10 minutes. I gotta hide. No son of mine is gonna be drinking a three martini lunch. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your five scotch breakfast? Your mother and I love you. We just want you to stay a kid a little bit longer. You understand? Turn you into someone you're not. But you know what? We love you just how you are. It took any kind of drugs that you're, you're tripping right now, aren't you? A little. All right. All day long. It's for a book. I don't think it's for a book. Okay, I'm off to do my paper route. Hi, Lois, I'm trying to watch TV. That's one small step. Ladies and gentlemen, he has been killed. God, there's nothing on. Just sit right back and you'll hear it. There we go. That must be the new nanny. Is this the Griffin house? Welcome to this work environment. Oh, I'm not the nanny. I'm her Uber driver. Your nanny's still in the car. I am Natalia. What is favorite breakfast fish? Well, if you must know... <coughs> Welcome to this work environment. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Mouse, I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Okay, Stewie. This is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Good Night Radiation House. Good Night Melted Phone. Good Night Glowing Milk. Good Night Two-Headed Cat. Good Night Nobody. Good Night Blocks and Blocks and Blocks of Nobody. Everybody poops. Blood. I'll get started on dinner. Homework is done, kids are fed, you two should go out and have lovely evening. Together? Yes, everything taken care of. Yeah, it could be fun. And we haven't been on a date since I broke the Guinness record for longest nasal exhale at that Tina Fey movie. Yes, you come in late last night drunk and tell me to pack car for weekend getaway you book online with substitute teacher played by Karim Abdul-Jabbar. Natalia? Will you be our nanny forever? <gasps> Ryan? Lock door. Why would I? Ah! Ryan! Boy, that was a close one. Ah, my son was in the back seat. <laughs> and pull cord. No! I don't know my number! Again! Again! Hi there, it's me, Peter. You know, when it comes to making dreams come alive, there used to be nothing like the movies. So we thought it would be fun to ask a few visionary Hollywood directors in Family Guy story, Peter Gets Fired. Of the countless directors we contacted, three did not say no immediately. Stop! I've listened to that over a hundred times now. I, I got nothing. Anyway, here's our first director, Quentin Tarantino. Just got the candy, I'm a lovable man, and I can take you to the nearest 
From home or from a place? A place. I'm trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. Here's Christoph Waltz to fire you in a weird accent. <gasps> it's a cliche. You think you can fire me? I'm taking this keg as payback. Where's my family? Dead. All of them. Well, you're not really ready, but if it's for revenge, you can stab me with this scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. No. This is better. Angela? We got business. My car alarm. Cleveland, turn that off. I'm pressing the button. You, you gotta put the keys in the ignition. I've been doing that, but oh. Dear. Peter, I'm standing here because I am the only Asian recurring character on the series. because my weapon is different. Oh, well then maybe I won't be able to chop your head off. Oh, yep. <laughs> Music yeah. makes violence classy. <gasps> of course, that. Head off. I'm mad at TV. Peter, what's wrong? Family Guy has been around since 1999, and whenever it's time for the Emmys, they don't give us one. I'm sick of it. Well, I'm not making another episode with The Simpsons. Shame on you, Simpsons. Those lucky bastards. Well, this week, we do classy comedy. Emmy comedy. Let's make this our Emmy-winning episode. So get all your pukes and farts out now. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, it's me, tu madre, Lois Griffin. Time for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Lois, which is who you are. Freaking Emmy. If you touch her ass, I will. <gasps> Amazon. Hi, my uncle Alejandro lives in the Amazon. Do you think he has sent us shoes made from banana leaves? This is something I ordered for me. I am a woman and always have been. I've made plans to undergo surgery so my wang don't get in the way of the woman what I am. Please honor me for my courage. Some kind of award for it. The fat woman. He hasn't chopped it off yet. That doesn't matter. Peter already identifies as a woman. And on karaoke night, I identify as George Michael. That doesn't mean it's true. More emotion and less of a monotone than the actual Lily on Modern Family. I'm now confident enough to share my truth with the rest of my loved ones, beginning with my son, Chris. What, what are you doing? Waiting for the laugh to die down. I'm here because I've decided to become the woman I am inside. Happy that in the words of Mr. Spock, it's only logical. Wow, I couldn't follow any of that. But look how smart your audience is. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that's great! Because if Louis C.K. likes something, everyone has to. That's right. Well, I'm glad my popularity has cooled off just enough that you were able to get me to do this. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I? Is it, am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? There, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. Man or woman, I'm a big fat joke. No one takes me seriously. I do, Dad. You've inspired me to nakedly eat this cake in a weird place. 
Okay, okay. All right, don't want one that bad. Oh, I can't believe all you guys came out to support me. You guys aren't just the best friends I've ever had. You're also the best comedy. Aww. Fuck, I'm, I'm not actually going through with the operation. I'm going home. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Somebody help! You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah! yeah. And that is how I became your mother. So the Emmy committee watched our submission for best comedy? Uh-huh. All right, thank you. They hated it so much they gave us a negative Emmy. Get into the drama category. That's how we'll win the Emmy. With dark, confusing plot twists like on Homeland or Mad Men. Ooh, or Breaking Bad or Mr. Robot Chicken. No, no, Chris, you see, Mr. Robot is a critically acclaimed show. Robot Chicken is something kids used to watch in 2006. 